Hello again, and welcome back to the card mat. Right, I suppose you want to see how I've done that impossible card change 2.0. Start with your ear for. If you're not here for that, you're in the wrong room. Yeah, science 101, two doors down. Right, what you need, you might have guessed. Yeah, there's gimmicks involved. Firstly, I used a card which I made into a short card. Right, just by trimming a bit off that edge there you can see it's a bit shorter than that one just so when you do the the dribble you can actually force that card you also need another card well a duplicate of your force card obviously you need a duplicate of your force card but then what i've done is i've just cut one of my little queenies in half and using a little bit of double-sided stick tape stuck it at the top top edge and stick it on Right, make sure it's at the top edge, it works a bit better. Because it keeps them together better if it's at the top edge. Make sure you take a lot of your sticky off the sticky. You want it to stick, but you don't want it to be glued tight and stiff to get off. So take a lot of your sticky off. You also need a card which I'm going to call a hook. And all you're basically doing is getting, getting a card and cutting a triangle out of it. Getting a triangle and then gluing it, you can see it's just sticking up there. You glue it down this edge so it all looks flush with the card. If you want to take your time with it, if you look right down the white edge, you can see it's all white. Now, that might have given it away in the performance because I noticed myself there was a little white line. Where you got your white edge, where there's red on the top, just colour red, just put a bit of red on that white line and it'll blend it in better, make it harder to see. Right, so what you do, you stick your hook card on the top. I've got it with the hook on the right hand side, so the point is in the middle and the bottom of it's down here. You place your halfy half card, shall we call it, on the top of that with the double half away from you. And your shorty card, or your forcing card, stick in the middle. The only problem with it is you can't get a spectator to sign a card because you're losing theirs into the middle. Um, you could try and figure a way of getting sticky tape to get it lost, but good luck for trying that one out. I didn't even bother thinking about it. Then all you do is do a, a dribble force. I dropped one too many at the end of that. Just do a dribble force so you're forcing that king onto them. Let them see it's going squarely into the middle. If you want to, stick it up, put them on the top, show it's there. And it's clearly gone in. You've done nothing at all. It's gone in the middle. You then point at the top card and you take this off. Now you want to get this so they only see the queen part. So you want to cover it in your fingers so they can see the queen. But all the rest of it, the king at the bottom, that's all hidden underneath your hand. Turn this hand slightly and have your thumb resting along the edge of that triangle. Just to try and disguise it a little bit better. Then, probably the hardest thing to do is get this onto there, face down, without them seeing Kingy, or the split, or your pipe, your, your, your hook. So, best way, turn the card down, and then just swing it over, straight onto the top. Right? Get it so it's on there, break half the cards from the bottom, place that down, shoulders not and dodgy underneath, put it on the top. Pick them up, get it all nice and square, and get your little finger just around that corner. Because if you don't have your little finger there, when you push that in, that's going to catch on the hook. And what will come with it? That card, which has got the hook on the back. And that's a big no-no. That's one thing that's not supposed to happen at all. So you get your little finger around the bend. And that'll keep, in my case, the jacker clubs from popping out. So you can show the queen, you can do your little gestures, and you can push it down. And push it down. Oh, I've moved my finger out the way and I shouldn't have. You push it down till it goes all square. Oh, get that missing my finger. So it all goes square on the top, right? Then you can grab your king. Don't pull the king straight down because you'll, you'll get a bit of a jerk as you're pulling that card off. Give it a little bit of a twist and that'll loosen your tape up a bit better and give more of a dramatic effect of the king coming out. Put your packet down, pay no attention to it and show them their card, give them their card, they can look at their card and examine it. And that's how it's done. Bish bash bosh, there you go. I hope you've enjoyed it. 
thank you very much for watching. Do come back again. I'd miss you if you didn't. I'll see you again soon.